Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the May 7th, 2023 new member Zoom Q&A. Um, we are going to, uh, well, I'm Betsy Co. And with me co-hosting, I have Hillary Gadsby from, from Wales, um, and I'm in Chicago. Um, I've been on Wikitree for almost, I signed the honor code, I just was counting this morning. It was almost four years ago. Um, but like many people, it took me some time to, I got overwhelmed, I stepped away, I came back, and I've been very active for the last two and a half years. Uh, and I belong to um, the England Project, Scotland, Wales, Canada. Uh, those are my geographical research projects. And I also uh, belong to Mentors and Leaders projects. Um, Hillary, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, I've been on Wikitree for, well, it will be 12, 12 years later on this year when, when I get my anniversary. Um, I am a... Um, project coordinator in for both um, the England and Wales projects. I am also uh, a member of Greeters. I've been a member of Greeters for a long time. I was greeting back in um, 2014, although I did take a break for a bit, so uh, um, not quite continuously since then. <laughs> um, and I am also um, one of the mentors as well. Uh, Wonderful. And um, so we're going to, we have, we're delighted to have you, Barbara, Melanie, and Murray. Um, and uh, before we started recording, um, Barbara and I were already chatting a little bit about um, her profiles and some of um, the, the things she's running into. So is it okay if I screen share uh, the Colin, your Jacob Collins profile? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. All right. Does everybody see Jacob Collins? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, I I do know uh, the other uh, children of Jacob and Anne, but uh -huh. I have simply not added them yet, as I. As I mentioned earlier in our discussion, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not comfortable yet using Wikitree. And so I haven't provided all the information I have, but I do know all the children of Jacob Collins and Ann Morrison. I know Ann's father, uh, but, but as we discussed, before some of the other people maybe joined us. I do not know Jacob's parents, even though some people have identified uh, parents, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm not convinced. I, I want to see uh, uh, where that information came from. Of course, of course, absolutely. And there's um, a part, you won't see it in every Wikitree profile, but uh, you'll see it in, in many, a section called research notes. And um, I can show you a model profile like that. And that's a section to address exactly what you're talking about, where you can lay out your, your evidence and say, but on the other hand, this is what some other people are saying. And um, um, and then you can sign it effectively. There's a there's a way with four tildes. I can put that in the chat to show you what I mean, um, where it shows that you know you you Barbara are saying this you know on this date and time, so that you know people can can connect things. Um, is everybody familiar with the four tildes? No, maybe. Um, I can't get to the chat quickly. Um, Hillary, could you put the four tildes in the chat so that people see what they look like? It's, so, in, it's in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard. So that's that's a wiki markup um, element. So when you're in edit mode, <laughs> would you would enter your uh, your research notes, then put those four little tildes, and then when you save, it will come come up as as your signature. 
Um, Hillary, do you, could you, you're, you're very well versed in uh, GEDCOM imports. Um, could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, <coughs> so if you, uh, uh, the main way of um, cleaning up imports, um, a lot of people import from Ancestry. I did myself um, and a lot of people have imported over the years um, and um, they don't they don't they import in various different ways and um somebody has created and created an app which um is nicknamed agc so sort of like an automatic jedcom cleaner um but um if so if you hear the term agc around that's what it is it's now incorporated in the wikitree browser which is what we call an extension, which, um, uh, it, you know, I use the Chrome browser. I don't know what browser you're using there. Are you using uh, today? Betsy, what, what browser um, have you I, got? I'm, I'm, on, uh, I'm on Chrome. You're on Chrome as well. Yeah. yeah. But the, it also works on things like Firefox. And um, for those people that use Macs um, um, and or iPads, I think there is uh, there are other ones that um, if that they are in process of um developing although they may not or it may not work on everything but um if you certainly if you use a pc and you use either a, either a chrome or a firefox browser you can use the um the wikitree extension um uh, the browser extension and that's quite useful um i could show you how to clean up this um pro this profile um i'm quite happy to demonstrate it if um if um, the person who's the wiki, the uh, profile manager is happy for me to do that. Um, Barbara, would that be okay with you? Uh, yes, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah. I'd appreciate yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, I can demonstrate how to do it and then it, at least it shows and you can do this. And and if you're not happy how it does, how it, how it converts it, when it first converts it, you can actually um, restore it back to what it was before if you haven't made any changes on it. So um, uh, um, if, if you're happy for me to screen share instead yes. of you, Betsy. Go ahead, take over. Yeah. yeah. All right just find the screen and and while hillary has uh has the screen i'm going to look up the help pages for some of the things that she's mentioning like the wikitree browser extension and the automatic jetcom clean up the agc right so if i'm on the profile now if i go into edit right and then i scroll down at the moment all you see are the standard um, icons above the biography section here but I've got the browser extension installed so I've got a little what looks like a the wiki tree icon up in my the top of the the browser here and if I press that it will show this like extra icon AGC icon and this is what I use this is what you need to sh sh show on a profile in order to be able to, to clean it up. So if I press that AGC, we'll see how it what it does. Ah, something's been changed on this. So if something's been changed, some sometimes you can you can still do use it, but quite often it won't change them if it's found that there's a there's something's been changed. Um, so it didn't like the fact that. Um, Perhaps something on the uh, how it'd been written is uh, was not a JEDCOM import. If that happens and um, it's only you've only made a minor change, I'll go to the ch I've, because it's not done anything. I can just go out of edit and it won't do do anything. So if I just go to the changes tab here, um, so you can see what changes. So you've actually made a few changes. So unless you really want to um, go back to how it was when you first import it, which I won't do because it's not my profile, um, yeah. but you can go back to what it says imported the data. You can go back to the original and you can still use the AGC then on it. It provided you can go back to when it was first imported. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, it was, it was imported 
before I started working with it. Yeah, you look. It looks like it was imported by somebody uh, that joined in that that brought, uploaded it in two thousand and eleven, which was probably around about the same sort of time I imported my Jedcom. I must admit. So um, it's uh, you know it, it it changes have been made to it. So I don't want you to lose changes if they, if there might be useful changes. So I won't I won't touch it. But it, if you if you wanted to, you could just go back to where, where it what it what it says imported the data. This these things here like imported the data and then added and things like that. You can actually see if I what I'll do I, I'll go to imported the data. I'm not change anything, but this is how it was when it when it was first imported, how it appeared when it was first imported. Um, and it's, you can scroll down and see all the fields. Um, it, then you can go to the next change and you can go through and you can actually view in that changes tab any changes that have been made to the profile. So if somebody else made a change to one of your profiles and you weren't sure what the change was, you could go back and go look through the changes and 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 see see what it is that's been changed and if it's something if it's something it might be something helpful quite it should hopefully be something helpful but occasionally people make changes and that and you know that person better than they do and they perhaps change something that they shouldn't have done and but you can actually revert back to any previous time so so that's the last time it was changed but if i wanted to remove some of the the things that I put on there because I put on the wrong things. Maybe I could just go back and revert it back to what it was on on the on the previous time it had been changed on the eleventh of April, rather than the change that was made on the fifteenth. So it is a useful thing to know about that because, uh, I say, occasionally it just saves you from doing a uh, doing a lot uh, having to, uh, to remove a lot of things or edit a lot of things. You know, you can actually go back to a previous version of something the only time you can't do that is if um a uh, uh, profile's been merged because it, it 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 creates a new profile so you can't go back to what it was prior to the merge so uh, i'll uh, stop sharing <laughs> no. I, I i think i i think i may have merged uh recently because it was a duplication there were there were two uh jacob collins is the same the same person yeah so it may, may not it may not some this is this is one of these things that it, it at times when using that app will not will not help be helpful but it's 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 useful to know about these things if you've it, particularly if you've imported a lot or you're dealing with profiles that somebody else has imported and nobody else has uh, uh, touched it since it was imported it's it's something that you can tidy up without having to do major changes and you can see whether um it, it, it does it'll put things into the nice format for you Great, thank you. Um, Murray, question. Oh, you're muted. <coughs> Hillary, I wonder um, if you could go back to that profile and cut out the ascending line and then try to run AGC because it's not gonna save anyway until you actually try to save it. But maybe if you took out that ascending line that it, it was troubled by, it, the AGC might run. There's been quite a few changes on made on that thing, so I I I tend to um it, um have a look through the profile. If it's one of mine that I've amended, I will look through. I will take out anything like there might be sources that have been added and things like that that might be quite useful. Quite often, I will take out the source citations and things so that I can then go and and work on it. But since this isn't mine, I'm not happy that. I'm going to work on somebody else's profile and I might take something out that's important and, and not realize I've, it, it, it's cleared. Um, but um, I'll, we can probably see if we can find it, another one that we might be able to do it on and then I can demonstrate it again. It might yeah. be easier. I'll have a look, see if I can find anything else in that JEDCOM that might be useful. Okay, and in the meantime, um, I found an example of research notes 
So um, let me take the screen back and that, okay, um, move that down there. Okay, so hopefully everybody can see Harriet Nichols. Yes, great. Um, and um, so this was a profile I was working on a couple of uh, weeks ago. And so this is what it looks like, the biography, and then the research notes would go between the biography and the sources. Um, and you can see, um, you know, I'm, I'm just explaining um, why I believe that she died um, before a certain date. Um, and then here at the end of my explanation, you'll see the result of those four little tildes. Um, that's my profile ID <laughs> and then the date and the time that I, I wrote it. And so if we go into, I'll show you what that looks like in edit mode. Um, here, the, the, it's very simple to create research notes. You just do two equal signs, research notes, two equal signs, and then you, you put in your, um, what you have to say, and, uh, and that's, that's it. And when you go and you make your, um, you, you're changing, you have to say, well, what did you do? There is a, an option to say, I, I made research notes. Um, you can click multiple things that you did. Um, does, that, does that help everybody with, uh, with research notes? Barbara, yeah. that's what I would do with, with um, what you've been um, seeing between your your conclusions and other researchers' conclusions. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead. I found another profile, another one in that same. Uh, I think it was one of the one of the uh, children. Mm -hmm. His his profile's not been touched at all since it was imported. So I could show how to use the AGC on on that one. Great. Okay. Um, I take over uh, yeah right so this is this uh, this is one of the sons this is walter one of the sons so his profile if you go to the changes tab you can see that all we've got is where it's been imported so we can we can safely go and um, work on this one, knowing that no changes have been made since it was imported. Mm -hmm. All right. So, because I'd already used the um, the browser before, it's it's showing it straight away. I think it's if you haven't haven't been using it, but because I've been using it since I started this session, it's already showing up on there for me. So if I press the button, right, it's changed it. It's put references and things that based on what was in there. Now, if this was a more, if this was an older pro profile, um, just having a family tree would, would not be considered to be a um, a reasonable thing um, as a, a thing. And it puts, I notice it's automatically put research notes in there. So if there's things that need to be checked. So um, it, it, often all it's put in, all it puts in there is if it changes the um, the name, because quite often when these JEDCOM imports like this one, originally it had Walter um, W in in the in the whole of the the proper first name. Well, we should only really have the Walter in there, and we should have the W in the the middle name. Um, but there are countries that don't have middle names that they have set that they don't as such. So if you're working in that area, you need to make sure that you have the the um, the things set properly in the extension that you use using to clean it up. Um, but for if you're working in in countries where they do have middle names and you don't need to worry about that. But um, if, it, if it doesn't show and it's not doing that, it could just be that something's not set right up. up set up right on the extension for you so so it's cleaned it up quite nicely it's now telling us um a bit better and it's um and it <coughs> automatically adds acknowledgements at the bottom 
so that um, it, if somebody's looking for this JEDCOM, they know what the uh, profiles that were created by this JEDCOM, it's still got the JEDCOM there on the bottom. You can actually do uh, turn that so that it doesn't do that, so that it removes it altogether. But I know um, some pe uh, people that are working on the, some clean up some of the JEDCOMs quite like to have that on um, there, so that they can see and see how people were originally connected, because it can be quite useful for them. So all and what it also does is it automatically tell puts an exclamation in there that you've reformatted it using the extension. So what I shall do because it's um, because it, this is multiple names found, and it it it, it was it, that's the only thing that's come up. I, I know that I'm happy with that. So um, because it's a US one, and I, it won't be somebody that's not using middle names. So I can delete that text. And if there's anything else that you want to delete, you can. You're not happy with, you can delete it, or you find better sources that you want to put in. Then that's 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 fine. Uh, uh, actually, actually, yeah. Uh, uh, Walter Walter Collins uh, changed his name uh, mm -hmm. uh, to John Jones, and so when he died in in Arkansas, uh, he was John Jones. All um, oh, right. So you'd be at, now. Now I've cleaned it up. You've got your research notes on there, so you could add your research notes in. And that I'll leave it blank. I'll leave the research notes section in there for you, and you can you can do the the alterations that you need to. Oh, okay. Actually, actually, I I I was going to make changes when I when I I work on the uh, Jacob Collins um, tree. Uh, I I just haven't done that yet. I realized that there was a reference to Walter Collins. But as I said, I, I just have not been knowledgeable enough to know how to handle some of these things. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, that one's cleaned up now. So, and it, and hopefully that'll help other people as well um, that, 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 um, that might wanna have a go at um, cleaning up some of these profiles and that. You could always, if you've not made any changes you can always just reverse it by pressing the red cross and it'll automatically but if you if you've made an edit to it it'll come up and it'll say you can't you can't undo it uh and it, you know you lose if if you undo it you you'll lose it and it won't it um so this there's quite often this um this is quite useful this this warnings it always lets you know that if you know it, it if it didn't change it then it it's you, you're gonna you'd lose what you'd done if you hadn't made any if all you'd done is press the button and you hadn't changed anything else you can undo it and it and it go it'll go back to what it was on the JEDCOM and you can return without saving anything and that and it won't and it won't matter but so, so this is since this is actually prob improving the layout of the of the profile we'll leave it leave it as it is and we'll save and well it's already saved as draft. So we'll, we'll full save it now. I I had difficulty figuring out how to. I I think it must be apparent uh, when I merged uh, Jacob Collins, the 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 two individuals, but I had difficulty merging. The instructions seem simple, but I don't know how many attempts I made before it actually happened. Can you see where the merge was done and what? I, what I, I saw merged? that. I saw the merge on your contribution list. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I guess it would be in Jacob's changes list, right? Yeah. yeah. There are sometimes when you're doing a merge, sometimes you have to do it in particular order, particularly if you're mer merging more than one person. Uh, sort of, um, if the, if you're merging sort of two sets of parents and and the child and children as well, um, sometimes you have to do it in I 
I think you have to do it in a particular order and which is why sometimes it won't let you do it um you know like if so so say you will you will um merging Jacob and Anne and say there were duplicates of the children as well you would you probably couldn't uh, um uh merge there is an order that you need to do it in and I think it may be you have to do that I think it may be that you have to do the parents first before you do the children but I, I I it's a long time since I've done anything like that so but I know I've had when I've had issues it's usually because you're trying to merge um, other members of the family and they have to be done in a particular order well I was only trying to merge Jacob I hadn't yeah. I, mm. I hadn't made an effort to merge anyone else but I it was clear that there was a duplicate Jacob and I I sent a message to someone to ask for help and I never got an answer but eventually the merge for Jacob worked and um so i yeah. i haven't really done anything since then uh, that's that's where i'm talking about where where i merged um, yeah if yes. if some if somebody yeah. else is a manager of the other profile they need to approve it and if they don't approve it, there's a, a time period. I think it's something like a month or something like yeah, that. Um, and then, and then you can still go. Then you can actually go ahead and do the merge if if they if they haven't responded within a month. So that it could be that you couldn't do it one day, but you've done it later on, and it could just be that that time period is is passed so that it would let you do it. Okay, I I didn't think that uh, that whoever had submitted the, inform the the information on the earlier Jacob that I was trying to merge, I didn't think that they were still active. I, mm -hmm. Maybe I made a mistake. No, it's possible. And that's why I think that's partially why we have got a time thing on it. So that it gives if somebody's away, it gives them a chance to respond and 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 agree or disagree. And if they're not active, then having a, like a one month time period means that the person who wants to do the merge is not having to wait for uh, it is not having you can actually go ahead and do the merge of, at some point. So. Right. Um, Stephen had a, a good question, um, wondering why some profiles have research notes and others didn't. Um, and I, I noticed, Hillary, that when you did the AGC process, it automatically added research notes. And um, I didn't I didn't know it did that. But um, of course, not all profiles need research notes. And I think when it's not a JEDCOM cleanup sort of thing, you would have to add them manually. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's I, I, Go ahead. I, I have I use a uh, I use a like a clipboard manager on my browser, and mm -hmm. I have a thing set up so that I've because I use research notes quite a bit that just automatically set. I just cup in a top, type in a couple of letters and it automatically put, types the research notes in for me. Um, mm. But yeah, and it, it, the AGC will only do it on profiles where there is something that it needs you to have a look at, where it needs you to review. Like if it if you thinks if it thinks the marriage that rec information is not marriage information for that particular person, maybe the parents quite often. Um, or something like that it will put an, a, a notes in there or things that have come from a that have been imported that it couldn't import like media and things like that it will put things anything that there's any query on AGC will put it in a research in the research notes so that you so you don't lose the the information but it will delete certain things that we know are not useful to the profile but there's not much it deletes. A lot of the time, it's just reformatting what's there. Right, Riley. It's I appreciate that it's conservative, so that mm. you know, mm. we can review and then make sure that it's something we want or not. Mm. Um, so yes, I think Stephen. The reason it's a check mark 
in the field of, of changes is just that um, it's common enough that, you know, that's mm. why it's an option. Yeah. Um, I don't think it is an auto merge. I think it just means that you or somebody else can go and merge the profile after a month because I've um, proposed merges before now and then forgotten all about them and then somebody and then I've had a message that somebody else somebody else has come along and, and done them completed the merge so um, if that's what wondering whether it's auto merge I don't think it does automatically merge things once you propose them if somebody has to actually go ahead and do it um, Barbara, have you uh, actually created some profiles just from scratch? Um, actually, anything I've submitted, I have I have um, input uh, manually. I have not imported anything because oh. partly because I don't know how. Right, right. Um, if I go back, let me, let me go back to, um, let's see. okay, um, go back to Jacob Collins, right, um, just trying to see, think what would be helpful for people, because you had mentioned, Barbara, that you weren't completely comfortable with adding some of the other relationships uh like the children of yes I can yeah. add that yeah um do we want to look at how to do that or is it that you're not comfortable with I, that? I know how to enter okay. information uh I I just don't know how to do a number of the other things I I know how to enter the information, but that's about as much as I do know. Okay. Uh, well, do you want to ask us some of those other questions? Like next next steps? Uh, yes. Based on what we had discussed about the things that I have looked for to try to identify Jacob's parents uh -huh. or to to find out how whoever it was who has attached Jacob to Malin Collins, where they got that information. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm I'm at a, a brick wall as to what to do next to try to identify Jacob's parents. Mm -hmm. I I just have received information from a researcher in Wayne County, Iowa, where he died and where I know he's buried and all that information. And she has indicated that she's looked at newspapers. She's looked, she's been to the courthouse. She's done the things that I would do if I were there. Mm -hmm. And she hasn't come up with anything. Her suggestion, which I have not yet pursued, is that Wayne County, well, Lineville, uh, where he lived last, is right on the state line between Iowa and Missouri. And she suggested that I check with adjacent counties in Missouri to see if there might be something there. And I know that's a possibility. For example, his second marriage, which I had not really been aware of for a long time, mm -hmm. was not in Iowa, but in Putnam County, Missouri, hmm. uh, which is just across the state line. Right. So it's possible that, that there's information in Missouri that is not available in Wayne County, but I've done everything I know to do in Wayne County. And right. I'm not sure where to go next other than to look in Missouri. Well, that that's really smart to, I mean, remember, I mean, state boundaries, even country boundaries when we're in Europe, they're, they're uh, artificial constructs and our ancestors 
you know, they, they just operated in a, a reasonable radius. So yeah, I think looking in Missouri would be, could be very fruitful for you. Yeah. Um, have you found him in the censuses? Um, because he would surely, he would be in the 1850 and on censuses. Oh, oh, oh yes. Um, I, I have all the censuses that would, so that I know for sure that's the correct right. Jacob right. Collins. I have previous censuses, which I think is the correct Jacob Collins. The, uh, the problem is that it's a fairly common name. Mm -hmm. And in 1840, and I, I haven't really worked on it for a couple of days, so it's not really uppermost on my mind right now. But what I did most recently was try to identify somebody in an earlier census where I know that that's my Jacob who mm -hmm. might be his parents and pursue that. Right. But, but I haven't made any real progress. Well, I'm thinking in 1840, he would have been 38 and probably head of a household. He would no longer be in his parents' uh, right. So, uh, yeah. uh, uh, right. Well, he and Ann were married in 1821. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so we're looking at very early mm -hmm. census records mm -hmm. and trying to match someone as a possibility to see if they stay together in subsequent censuses because they were in the information all the census records that indicate a birthplace for Jacob indicate that he was born in Virginia mm -hmm. and was born in Pennsylvania and those census records that show that information are fairly consistent right but right. Uh, but but then from from Virginia, then they're in Guernsey County. He and Anne were married in Guernsey County. The children, most of the children were born, maybe even all were born in Guernsey County. Mm -hmm. Then in 1850, he was in, they were in Illinois. And then after that, they were in Iowa. Uh, so, The, the problem is that we're looking at very early census records so that we don't have any information that would indicate who parents and children were. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, they're, they're much before 1850, which identifies everybody. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, would it be okay, could we right now look for some of those census records and put them on his profile? Like maybe maybe I could look for them in 1882. Um, uh, I'm sorry, 1880, the 1880 census. And, and 18, yes, and 1880. Yeah, so, so I'm just gonna go under, on the right-hand side, you see you have this research section and I'm just gonna, search for Jacob, it fills in automatically all of the information that, you know, is already there in the WikiTree profile. And I'm going to go to family search uh, because, you know, it's a, it's a free, free website. So anything we find there um, doesn't have a paywall. Um, and let's see what we find. There's an 18... An 1860 census for a Jacob born in the Virgin Islands. It's probably not correct. But what about this one? Uh, 1870 census born in Virginia. Wait, was it Virginia? Is that correct? Virginia, yeah. Yes. Okay. And they're living in Clinton Township, Iowa. In right. 18, that, does By that sound correct? Yes. Okay. So let's have a look. All right. And let's really have a look. Um, 
His wife's name was Anna, did you say? It's Anne, yes. Anne, okay. So uh, we've got an enumerator with fancy script here. Ah, Collins, okay, there he is. Uh, line 27, Jacob Collins, 67 and 70, a uh, farmer. She was keeping house. She was born in Virginia. She was born in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So that's them, correct? Yes, that's them. Okay, great. So what we're going to do is go back to, uh, back to here and to cite this record, it's already, this is another reason why I like family search. All I have to do is click this button and it's copied to my clipboard. Um, may I put this on Jacob's profile? Is that okay? Uh, uh, yes, but uh, would you show me again how you went from where we were to family search? Of course, yes. Um, Thank you. Yes, all right, here I am back at Jacob's call, uh, profile. Okay. On the right-hand side, scroll down until you see research. Okay. And I clicked on that and then it took me to a page that looks like this, root search. And then I went down, I clicked on family search. Okay. And then it took me to, to his- Okay, I'm with you, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, so if I go back here um, and I edit, well, what you what you may wish to do, I don't think we should mess around with inline citations this morning. So um, let's just put it right, well, put it maybe after that one, showing that it was a, created through an import. And then um, put an asterisk, which is going to create a bullet point and now just copy. So I can preview and see what that will look like. Under sources, um, we see these, the, the one that I said, oh, let's preserve that um, sort of towards the top. And then here's this, the census. And so, and it's hyperlinked. So anyone visiting Jacob's profile can click on that and go okay. see the record. Yes. Yeah. Um, now there's something else I noticed. I'm going to save this. So we've added a source and now we can do a full save. Um, I noticed when we were over on family search that he has a profile here. Have you, have you looked at his profile? Okay. Yes. You yeah. have. Um, 12 sources. So, um, Oh, and there's his marriage record. Yeah, I've got oh. his marriage record. Great, great. But you would want to you would want to get that over to WikiTree in the list of sources, hmm. okay. As, especially if you're going to, um, especially if you're going to create a case in the research notes of, um, you know. Uh, linking him to certain parents or not, you want his sources to be visible to everybody. I understand that you have them, um, but you want everybody to be able to see. Them. Yes, and I, I, haven't, I haven't gone that far. Right, right. And great, this is, this is them, right? Um, uh, yes. August 25th, 1821. So yes. again, just to show another example, if we wanted to, um, do you have a profile for Anne as well? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So we could just take this citation, copy, um, go back to Jacob's profile. And I always like to do my sources chronologically. So I'm going to put it above the 1870 census. And there's the marriage record. Um, so when I go back, I added a source.
Now we see the marriage and the census. And, you know, while I have that in my clipboard, I may I add that to Anne's profile as well? Sure. Okay. So, uh, oh, okay. Um, Got so you I, yeah. Do you have, okay, well, this is the one with the, with the linked, with the correct marriage date. And that's, that that's the earlier one that was the one that was imported because it's still got the jedcom um the way the way the jedcom has imported it on that one the other yeah. one i think was might have been newly more recently created okay uh so the other one okay so you do have you do have duplicates okay i hadn't i hadn't noticed that one mm, yeah Ah. <laughs> well, okay. So, um, are you your profile manager for both? So See that <laughs> that makes life very easy. Mm. Um, go merge ahead. them and keep what she can. Mer they can be merged, and she can keep what she wants. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, so you can go ahead and. Where's the, uh, so you would initiate a merge and it'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison so that as Hillary said, you can, um, you know, pick, pick uh, what you need from both. And it will end up, it always works in WikiTree that you go to the, the, the lower number. So the other number was something like, 17,773. So the new profile ID for Anne will definitely be 1531. Um, so, well, either way, nothing will get lost. So I will go ahead and, and just add the marriage. I, I, if I was really being on the ball, I would have added that census for her too, but Oh, actually, you know what? I will. I want to show you something. So there's the marriage, and I'm going to go back to Jacob, and back to the 18. Here's the 1870 census. Um, and we the family search citation was for him. Now, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we just reused that because it would get the person to the right entry and they would see, oh, yes, there's Anne. But to really be proper, it would be nice to have a citation for the same record for Anne. So that's how when you have a census that is uh, good for multiple people, it's good to click on that specific person in Family Search to get the record. So you see now we have this entry that says Ann Collins in the entry for Jacob Collins. So I'll copy that. Now I'll go back to her Wikitree profile and add that in. So I added sources and the ask the asterisk is what creates the uh, the little bullet point. So um, questions. Uh, yes, Stephen. Stephen said some, I've sometimes found 1950 census, and of course, those that's hot off the press um, for genealogists uh, without a citation. So, yeah, I think linking a URL is probably the best best way to go. Uh, Melanie, I know you wanted to listen along, listen along, but you said you had lots of questions. Have any come uh, come to mind as you've been listening? No, it's I'm 
I'm getting where I, I understand what they're, what you guys are doing, what, what she and you guys are doing. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, my my way of learning uh, was I, I watched the Saturday morning ra roundup uh, live casts, um, and a big part of those is is sort of showing off profiles, and um, that's how I learned a lot. Um, in addition to doing um, the sort of training trails for England and Scotland, those were also a big, big help. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hillary, what was the uh, Rayburn twin? 1027 that that was one that barbara's created from scratch herself oh okay yeah i meant to just uh, I, I shared it with everybody but it, it, it i just thought if you want looking for a profile that barbara had actually right. created rather right. than um right the one yeah. that was an yeah. import okay um so the tools just uh since we have a few minutes left um, just to, and and Stephen was bringing up the sorcerer tool. Um, let me just talk about those. So you can see on my screen, um, I have these little icons up at the top. Um, the one that is orange that looks like the wiki tree pro uh, logo is the wiki tree browser extension, and I put the uh, the help page for that in the. Uh, in the chat uh, a while ago, um, it's just a it's it's hard to describe what WikiTree Browser Extension does in a few sentences because it's so powerful. Um, remember, I think this was before we started talking, Barbara. I said, "Oh, you and I are cousins." Do you remember that? Yes, I remember yes. it well. Right. So if I go to you, you see this this box. Of course, I'm logged in as me, so the system is saying me relating to you that we are 11th cousins once removed and and where where did that box come from um that's a result of using the wikitree browser extension oh, oh. yeah so if we <clears throat> if we wanted to see more specifically it does give our most recent common ancestor but if we wanted to find our connection, no, that's not gonna do it. Mm, connect, okay, under connection to me, it gives the, the path. So every time it changes color, that's through a marriage. So, well, yeah. Um, and some of these names, I mean, I I haven't done any research back in in the Bartlets or or the Burts, but uh, that's because they're they're let's see, Catherine Birch was married to one of my Perkins, and so that that's the power of WikiTree is that because of all these interconnections, it's going to um, you know take you even farther back. The other thing you can do if I go back um, is look at our relationship, which might look a little different. Yeah, I mean, well, certainly visually it looks different, but that gives the actual pathway of how you get to um, uh, our common, our recent, most recent common ancestor and how I get there. That's, so that's, that's amazing. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know any of that. Yeah, so that's a that alone is a good reason. It's a fun reason. <laughs> um, and the other thing that you see in my um in my little extension um, bar is this number one, and that's called sorcerer. Um, hmm, let's see. I think I could show you very quickly um, if I went back to. Jake, uh, no, it's not going to like that. Um, I went back to Jacob. 
Um, and I know there's a find a grave. Um, oh, it's already there. Okay. Um, for, for for find a grave, Hillary, does this look that that looks like a, a wiki tree approved way to format a print find a grave just quickly um i think i think there's a there used to be a thing in that with a thing to a the particular doesn't look quite mm. let's let me try the the see if i can try the link yeah i was just looking for a quick example a quick, to show, yeah. show sorcerer well if i mm. went back to roots web and now let me search for Jacob on Ancestry. Um, you know, and sometimes sometimes there are things on, on Ancestry and find for on a free, free site. Um, well, I'm, I'm just going to, all right, so 1880. Oh, well, that's not him, married to Eliza. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's Jacob. Right. Um, do this one. We're not going to follow it through. But if I go to this eight, because we have a table, and this is the same record. But if I wanted to get it from Ancestry, I'm on this page. I just click on my one and say, um, build an inline citation or build a source citation. Um, the inline citation is when it's um, integrated within a biography sort of footnote style. Um, but the source, source citation is the one where it's um, with the bullet points created by the asterisks. Just click on that and it's, it's created. Um, and if I, if I cut and if I pasted it into his his uh, profile, it would it would be perfectly formatted. I wouldn't even have to put in the asterisks. So, very very handy tool. Mm. Oh, thank you, Hillary, for putting. I was just going to say I I didn't 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 do that. Mm. Yeah, good. What do you mean exactly, Stephen? Get the extensions from. Oh, oh. oh, you mean to find them? Mm. Yes. So what Stephen's talking about is um, up here under find, go to apps, and then you'll be able to get um, a lot of the, I mean, I would just explore. Here's um, WikiTree Sourcer, WikiTree Browser extension. Um, I can't remember what else did we talk about today? AGC, would that be on there? No. I think it. it's incorporated in the browser extension now, yeah. so it's not yep. a separate one, but it used to be a separate plan. I think um, Rob included it in with the browser extension. And so it just gets uh, aut automatically updated with that. Right. Right. Great. So I, I hope we've helped everyone. Um, I will. Um, very, very helpful. And I very much appreciate it. Uh, I've learned a lot. I'm not sure how much I can retain, but it was very helpful and I appreciate it. Oh, well, our pleasure. Mm -hmm. And um, I will put in the, the chat um, the link. This is a really good um, page to, uh, to check in with. Um, this is the, the free space page for these sessions. And so if you miss the G2G post and you're wondering, hey, where's the, when's the next one? Um, all that information is there, the Zoom links, um, as well as um, I put a... Um, just my cheat sheet for wiki markup, um, which a lot of a lot of wiki trees have a cheat sheet. Um, this is just my version of it, um, and and feel free to to let it help you. Uh, I do tip of the week on Saturday, the Saturday Roundup live cast. So there's also um, 
a link to a page listing all the tips, just sort of little hacks to get around Wikitree. Yeah, somebody was asking for about that in the um, England project uh, the other uh, only the only yesterday I think so I oh, might okay. I might actually share it with them. <laughs> yes, yeah, please. Well, it came out of uh, last month's last uh, the Sunday session last month. Remember, somebody yeah, said, "Yeah, you should do that with timestamps and everything." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so quite... There are some there are some on the help page, but maybe not everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh well thanks Stephen. Uh, and, and uh, this is recorded and then how would i access that so i could see the recording sure well it's going to get uploaded to wikitree's youtube channel so um are you subscribed to the youtube channel uh not not really okay let me let me um are do you use youtube at all uh, i i have accessed it a few times yes okay all right great so um you'll find so much information uh under um the wikitree channel so here's here's how you find us and if you just uh you know get the notifications um, you'll be alerted when the video goes up. I also link to the YouTube videos once it's all set to go on the uh, the free space page, the new member Q and A via Zoom free space page. So um, I'm just going to uh, sign. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to thank everyone for coming today and, and to thank you to those of you who are watching us later. Um, and we will be back next month, the first Thursday and first Sunday of June um, with, with more, more Q&A. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.